On Tuesday, President Trump announced that he's directing the EPA to begin the process of allowing the sale of E15 fuel year-round. And that could be big business for corn producers. Iowa already ranks number one nationally in corn production, with 39% or about 1.4 billion bushels of Iowa corn going to ethanol production. As Jacob Russo shows us, farmers are cautiously optimistic about what the future could hold. And that's our top story. For years, fuel made up of 15% ethanol, otherwise known as E15, couldn't be sold between the months of May and September. But earlier this week, President Trump announced the EPA would begin to look into making E15 available all year long, which is making some farmers excited. This is a big step in the right direction because it's showing support from the president towards um, ethanol and, and increased ethanol blends, but this is the start. Uh, kind of in that process. By setting the groundwork for a higher demand of ethanol, that could lead to a higher demand of corn, which means more money in the pockets of farmers. If this thing carries through clear to the end uh, to have an increased demand for ethanol because of the use of higher blends, which is going to create an increase in demand for corn. So for the farmers that you know, on down the line as this thing works through, we're going to have an opportunity for a stronger market. Ethanol producers like Siouxland Ethanol in Jackson, Nebraska, are also hopeful for an increased demand. But they admit with change comes uncertainty. I'm confident it's a step in the right direction, but there's still other infrastructure and other supply chain issues. You know, today uh, a gas station or a retail station that does not have blender pumps is still going to have some challenges. It may take a few years, but if all the pieces fall into place, ethanol may become even more common at the pump. In Jackson, Nebraska, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 News.